Habits are most powerful thing. So if, suppose if someone has a habit to have the head like this, and I go to the doctor, and now the doctor chiropractic or something, the, it straights it up. And now I feel weird. I don't feel no. I feel weird because my habit was to go like this all over. So habits are very powerful. Same like if you are used to play with a guitar that doesn't tune. Which I was afraid too because I did. Pac was most afraid of this also <laughs> because the the fretboard division is wrong. Any guitar except this, brand it does not tune well. So this is a mathematical issue. It's not just me saying it. But if you are strong enough to pick up a ruler and measure, it will come up. Thing. And then you will have to come up, well, but the tradition did like this, or this, but Sabika sounds great anyway, but it sounds good, I like it. Any justification will come there <laughs> to say the fact that it doesn't tune. I think this, if this is, is a C or is not C, is C sharp or is not C sharp, it is or it is not, and that's it. 2 plus 2, 4, that's all. We cannot say 2 plus 2, well, I guess someone said it's 7, and well, you know, I like the idea of maybe 9. No, <laughs> you can't do that. So this is one thing that we have to be very careful because the habit, habit will condition you to certain things. Therefore, if you were too many years with the head like this or with the wrong posture, then now when you correct the thing, then it may become an issue. But of course, if you become aware of the problem, then there is no more problem. Actually, any problem comes because, first of all, you don't know this is, is wrong, or is not the best solution, and you stick to this because so many people say it's right. Like majority, this majority consent thing. Suppose someone said, "Well, you know, many people drink Coca Cola, so then it means it's a healthy drink because so many millions, so millions drink it every day. So I guess this is good. Everyone drinks it." Yeah, that doesn't mean this is this is healthy thing. <laughs> so, you see, one thing is one thing, and the other is another. You have to become very sharp, and the habit of how you practice, and which measurements of guitar you practice with the defective bridge, with the wrong walls, etc. I will post the description of this Emperor is an egg video because it's very <laughs> interesting one. And of course, Paco was very aware of these things. Right? So he support he supported wholeheartedly. AG because it, because the, the idea to get rid of these imperfections was there from day one up to to today and to what will come after and then of course this uh, is a very bold activity and very bold standpoint because you have to be truthful to the facts. And then so many things will be there, like inherited opinions, like someone said or someone said, uh, hypnotic commandments that you think is you. My, in my opinion, well, my opinion is, you know, I prefer traditional from my translation. I, 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 my technique is very deficient and I can't play the, the new stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> right? Or like what Paco said, Paco said we need to explore the realm of improvisation, and it's not jazz, it's flamenco, but we need to do it. And then someone said, well, I prefer the old, the old, the traditional thing. I prefer the traditional thing or you are scared of the new? <laughs> this is the thing. <laughs> so you have to be able to face things and just observe your habit. How do you practice? Some people there say, like long time ago, also they did this thing, put the TV there and then they start doing a Things, but just unaware of, the, of how they play, right? There's nothing wrong with watching the TV or doing any technique thing. When you do something mechanical, the problem is that when you do something mechanically, then, then you are not aware of it. So you need to be you, to, and to be you, you have to pay attention. To pay attention, you can pay attention to one thing. This multitasking experiment, many came there recently and they prove 
consistently that people who do multitasking thing is less accurate than, than those who are doing in mathematical equations and different tests they did. To become accurate is better that you do one thing at a time. So therefore, if my mind is older in another place and I'm doing this unaware, then of course I want to better say, well, the tradition said this <laughs> to save face, but is that making you play better? Because at the end of the day, the habit of how you practice matters. Which guitar you play when you practice matters. Which method you follow and why matters. How consistent you are, even if you practice 20 minutes a day, only or 10 minutes a day, but proper, that is much more powerful than 10 years wrong. So habits, I think that's why habit, you get habits by a teacher. The teacher tells you what's good habit. Because this habit, habit of practicing right, in fact make me get the result that I can prove is true because I will, I will experience that in myself. And then therefore, all these meaningless statements, I, I prefer tradition, I prefer that, <laughs> it becomes just empty. You see how empty these things are because you are actually getting what you want to get. So therefore, habit, most important. And those who are, that's why beginners have much more advantage because they are fresh. Someone who had the ego played, suppose, 10 years wrong posture, and now I have to correct that. So now I have to work double. Not that the beginner double. <laughs> so I have to go to square one anyway, correct that thing, and undo the wrong and do the right. This is a lot of, of work. While the beginner can just take the thing and just start it right away from day one with the right thing. So he has, he has no problem. Therefore, who gets fat? Of course, those who have these habits, some are really, we have to consider, because some stuff, posture stuff, or other things, maybe not very um, essential or will not determine um, completely your way of playing or your progress. You have to see, if, is that habit affecting me or not? Everything you have to question, you have to, to be able to question these things and see. And that also, because alone you cannot do that. That's another problem. <laughs> you will keep just be turning rounds forever and getting nowhere because you, you don't have any. It's said like echo chamber, you know. If you, if you are you only you do it yourself and be confused forever. Why is it that? Because people get alone. They watch this video. They watch the other. They watch the other. And they think, well, I guess it's that way. <laughs> so what happens is that at the end of the day they get nowhere. For instance, people say. This other thing, what they said now is, uh, well, everyone has his own way, his own technique. <laughs> Translation, I follow no technique, actually, not one line well. And that's why I have to say everyone has his, because I have. I actually secretly follow no one. <laughs> so to justify laziness, stop there. This is a habit. People, you don't know how much people listen to these habits. And then why they are blocked, because also another thing is, is that they are blocked in music. Why they are blocked? Because be, be, behind this block, blockage thing is there the, the, the hypnotic command and the parenting stuff and the inherited opinion and the denial of reality and all these things, cliches, statements. People is hypnotized with these things so much so they think it's they saying it. I challenge you or anyone thinking this way to really Going deep inside, you don't have to say it in the description or the commentary or anything. You keep it to you if it is embarrassing. I don't, I don't, don't care. I want to just help those who want to be helped because I'm just sharing my. Nobody's paying me to do this video. I'm doing it just to to help others who want and can be helped. And this can be helped means that they are courageous enough to challenge. If what I think is right, let me see. Some people go like that and they, they find that, you know what, really, I, I, have, I don't have enough technique or if I am deficient in this field or in rhythm, I, I, I suck in rhythm and I need to fix this thing. So there is also a positive attitude to take about, but uh, if you want to learn, a great habit there is to be positive in that sense that if there is some, uh, uh, something wrong with my play, I will fix it. I don't care. If I don't work, I will do it. And then the obstacle becomes this small. 
Otherwise, the obstacle will become someone said it's right or driving well, no problem, pressing the thumb, that's okay. We don't practice with metronome, great. Such and such teacher told me there's no one damn problem. You don't count the thing when flamenco, you don't have good rhythm, don't count, the, don't worry, this is nobody did it, or these gypsies never did it. So live happily and enjoy your ignorance. And this, by the way, this is the problem with this so called democracy mis misunderstood that my ignorance is equal to your knowledge <laughs> because it's me and you worry about no at the moment. This is a misunderstanding. So therefore, in my opinion, right, but if someone wants to be like that, then no problem. I have no problem with that. I see many people stuck in music. Most of them, guitar players, are not advancing. Why? Because of these then problems. But it's they they have it and we don't have it. So but for those who, who want to really prevent a block of 10 years not advancing one centimeter in music and then wondering why, why, how is it possible I have 10 years playing and I play the same like the first day? <laughs> These things, this is a bad thing. So we need to help them also by example. And therefore to do that, we need to to do internal work and be courageous enough to think, is that right what I'm saying? Or maybe I am I am the wrong habit of listening to many people. That's another wrong habit. So therefore, how you practice? This is influenced by many factors, or what many of, of them may be troublesome for you. So we have to analyze. But there is other people like Stones do not advance people in Flamenco also like Sebe or other guys. And I told them, well, you know what, man, you have 40 years playing with this uh, because kind of posture, so I tried to do a knee braid of this and that, but really, I don't think you have to start again from the beginning because you already play functionally well. For you, from, from the Pagolos' point of view, is wrong, but from, from what their point of view is, well, I don't understand what other people is. But I myself said, you know what, this, don't worry about this thing, just go on like that. You don't need to change this. It's too much trouble and you maybe don't get anywhere. So it depends right, how deep it is because this guy has 30 years playing this, this way. So you cannot correct everyone also in the name of helping also hamper the, the progress of work where the point they stand on already fighting so much to get there. But that is another. But they also, of course, become aware, number one. Number two, they know they are wrong. And number three, they decide, well, yes or no, I want to, and still this guy said, I want to fix it anyway, because people actually feel bad that they are, have a problem in technique or a deficient stuff or a bad habit in practice. Well, simply because if they are not evolving, if you ask someone, how is your piccolo going on? At what speed do you play minor melodic scale? Well, I don't know, I guess, uh, let me see. Do you have a metronome? Well, not here, I have it in the other room, in the, in the, in the basement somewhere. So you notice know, immediately, this guy doesn't practice with metronome. And it's not his habit, this thing. He doesn't also write down what speed he plays this and this. So it's not his habit. Also, he's not recording himself to see from outside what he does. So that's a bad habit also. At least in my lessons and in my method, I suggest these things. It's not mandatory, obviously. You don't want to do it, don't do it. But it is good for you to do it. And I prove how good it is because when you see yourself from outside, you can analyze the stuff. So, all this habit thing, the guitar you play, you are used to, to for instance, to me, the, the center sample guitars without some portal, like the traditional guitar, is totally obsolete. Because when you need directional, it sounds like this, contracted. I don't feel like I'm trying to enter or sound as best as I can sound, or as I can sound one of the. So I, I don't like it, for me it's obsolete. Right? Now, for instance, if you never try the simplicity guitar like this, and that's why you don't know about this thing. So I'm telling you because I see many, I am still learning to play, I don't know yet. I discovered it only since AD presented the first of these models a couple of years ago. If I didn't have this guitar 30 years ago, I quit everything before. Now I quit also. Anyway, I don't want to see, to play anymore set the sample guitars, because to me this is obsolete. Even the, the best guitars of that style, which are in, a, in AG also, B-dimensional sound, with, with the sample, lateral sample, etc. But it's all about the habit. 
So to me, if I, if I am in the habit of having such an accurate tuning, like I, I can have in this guitar, in this fretboard, with the zero fret I have, I'm picking now the nice habit. So being 47 year old and I am still learning, I'm not saying I'm the teacher, I'm also a student. If you want to dance a student, you want to be better. That's why I give the lessons, but I'm not a teacher, teacher is Paco Lucia. So I'm translating his line and go further from there. We should not do also parrot in all these. So that's not a representative of Paco Lucia or anyone, a parrot, a literal parrot. That is not a teacher. So the teacher has to be he, right? Which means it's individual. And also teaching individual development to the students. So that's what I try to do. I don't interfere with these things. I have many friends who are stuck in the past playing centers and cool guitars. And I like them, and they are my friends. I have many of these friends. I, I, but they know, I told them, you are stuck in the past, and they say, yeah, that's true. So they know it. <laughs> and then there is no problem, because actually this is a personal choice. But habits, this word habit, just think deeply what does it mean for you and which are your habits playing and practicing. And that can be seen by, by who you are now and who you will be tomorrow as well.